to another edition of GVN Interview. I am your host, Martin, and today we have the pleasure of speaking to talented and upcoming actor Jack Kilmer. When it comes to performing, Jack has it in his blood, as he is the son of accomplished actors Val Kilmer and Joanne Wally. He already had a number of feature film appearances under his belt with Palo Alto, The Nice Guys, and Lords of Chaos, as well as narrating his father's recent documentary, Val. But coming up on March 27th, Jack appears along with Minnie Driver, Danny Huston, and Saul Rubinick in the Echoverse Supernatural Thriller podcast, The Lesser Dead. So we're going to talk to Jack about his work on Val and the release of his newest project, The Lesser Dead. So let's welcome talented actor Jack Kilmer to GBN Interview. Thanks for sharing a bit of your time there, Jack. Uh, how are we doing today? Thank you, Martin. I'm doing very well. Thank you. All right. Okay, so before we get into your uh, series, The Lesser Dead, I would be remiss and get in trouble with my daughter if I didn't ask you at least a question about uh, your father's documentary, Val, which uh, she was very excited when she heard I was going to be talking to you, you know, which, of course, you narrated. Uh, did, during the time where that uh, was being progressed, did you feel like you learned anything new or maybe something that kind of surprised you about your dad that, or maybe gave you a better insight into him? So many, I learned so many, many things about my, my father that I didn't know, um, including all the many bad hair choices that he did in the 80s and 90s and, um, and questionable fashion statements. But, um, but yeah, I mean, he, my, my dad uh, has lived a very crazy, unusual life and um, he forgets a, a lot of a lot of things and sometimes he will have a memory that um comes back to him and and um the footage brought back quite a few memories from from on set um from the you know productions of a lot of like these massive films he was on so it was a really amazing experience but okay. well, also, I noticed you played guitar in a segment. Is that something you like to do, or do you just do that for fun? Or yeah, I've always played guitar and and piano and various instruments. Right, I'm actually putting out music on the eighth of April under my own name, and it'll be my first release, oh. and I'll be playing guitar on that. Um, but I've always I've always been involved with it. Like I've always been in the music scene and here in LA. So. Excellent. Okay, so let's let's get to the main reason why we're talking, which is, of course, your podcast through Echoverse, The Lesser Dead, uh, which is based on a Christopher Buhlman novel, and, and you wrote the script. Uh, if you would, please explain uh, to our listeners uh, what the story is about and how you became connected to the project. Right, so The Lesser Dead is a, um, let's see, it's an audio drama, and it, it basically embeds you in this world of these quirky vampires in New York City in the 1970s. And um, let's see, um, I, I got involved in it. It was a kind of a dream scenario where I got an email saying, you know, would you like to play a, a vampire who is a punk rocker in New York in the 70s and opposite Mini Driver? And I was said, just simply, Yes, I would, I would love to do that. So, yeah. Yeah, well, who, who would? I'm a big fan of Mini Driver. Okay, uh, so was this your first opportunity to work on a, a you know a designed immersive audio project, which uh, this is very immersive. Uh, as a matter of fact, I recommend you listen to it with headphones on. Uh, but uh, as far as the process went, did you record individually for your parts or did you record as on a soundstage with everybody? Yeah, so... Um... We we recorded this at um, with Echoverse and, and Salt Audio and and um, you know I love like I love music studios and and the process of recording and filming things and I wasn't sure what to expect on on audio drama but I think the, I mean this is the most immersive um, audio drama series I've ever heard uh, personally and it's. I was really blown away by what they were doing to create the world of of vampires around you. I mean, it's so visceral. Every from the sounds of the biting to the this underground subways, and it and it really like 
it's really creative and and um a lot of fun to uh to experience you know i think it it's i just think it's brilliant I say, and they and they did a really good job. I said because you know you're just talking about the sound effects, but also like even just the background noises and traffic things, where it almost you almost sense it moving from yeah. left to right. Uh, and, and, and like I said, it's very immersive. Okay, so when it becomes yeah, shout out. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh no! Shout out to our director Dan Blank. He he would pump in all kinds of um, sounds while we were recording to really put us in the. Uh, the streets, you know, and the locations. And it was just, uh, it, it really helped get into character and it really helped uh, just paint the picture of New York during that time. It was amazing. Yeah, it, it absolutely did. Okay, so when, as far as recording the audio performance, do you approach it, did you approach it differently than you do like make a, like a film project? Because, you know, I watched, you know, behind the scenes for uh, like video games and for animated things where they'll ask you to give different inflections and record a line a whole bunch of different times. Was that kind of how that worked uh, for you in this particular project? Yeah, so I, I play this kid named Joey Peacock. And basically he's like this, you know, we describe him as a reverent, you know, eternally teenage vampire. Because when he was changed into a vampire, he was a teenager, and he never he never grew up. He's like he's like Peter Pan, but you know, more irreverent than Peter Pan <laughs> even. But um, I, uh, you know, I approached this like any other role. I I did my research and I you know tried to get to the bottom of what's driving this guy and you know the basically their their clan of vampires are you know there's there's problems amongst them and they have to unite in order to they ha they have to change which is something that vampires aren't very good at doing <laughs> and they have to come together to defeat like these outside forces that are, you know, sort of against their way of life and threaten their way of life. And and through that, my character, Joey Peacock, he has to really dig deep and just figure out what his purpose is on, on the planet, you know? And that's that can be very, that's hard for the average person, but right. for someone who's living dead, that's even more confusing. And, um, you know, not to mention he's, permanently and pubescent so he's got a lot to he's got a lot on his mind and um but he really you know he has to think about all of his family dynamics and kind of what brought what brought him to be a vampire and why why should he continue um to to haunt the streets of new york you know all right. Okay. So now uh, you are working with some seasoned acting veterans. We mentioned Minnie Driver and Danny Houston and Saul Rubinek, who I'm a big fan of from appearances in Star Trek and such. But uh, what was it like working with these uh, accomplished performers? It was such a pleasure to work with these seasoned actors. Minnie Driver is uh, an absolute professional, and um, it just it 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 takes your performance and it. And it raises it to another level. And I, I don't know quite what that is, but when you're in a scene with them, you uh, you bring your A game and you bring a kind of energy that um, that you only that you just dream of as an actor, you know, because they have that they have that focus and that energy that um, gives great performances. You know, and yep. and so it's really a pleasure because it makes my job so much easier. And um, and then they're also they're also pros at having fun. That's another key to being. <laughs> that's another trait that they that they have. So they you know, they bring in all kinds of. They keep it very fun and keep it light, you know. Excellent. OK, so I also noted that both uh, Minnie and yourself are listed among the executive producers for the podcast. Was this something that you wanted to do from the beginning or is this something that kind of evolved as you as the as the, the project progressed? Oh, um, I think it sort of evolved naturally from the 
inception of the project, I think it's like you you have to be very involved in the production when you're when you're in the studio every day because there's so many decisions um, that are unlike a film shoot. There's so many group, more like group decisions, I think. And so I think, yeah, I mean, to be honest, though, the credit should go to everyone at Salt and Echoverse who worked really, really hard, long hours, you know, and um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, you know, we speaking of performers, and this is something I tend to ask of, especially young actors. Uh, you know, you're no stranger to being around great actors through your dad and your mom. But have you reached the point in your career where you know, if you're going to be working with, you know, a, like 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 these folks, uh, do you get intimidated or you know, kind of wondering if you fit in with these uh, seasoned people? Oh, one hundred percent. I'm. I get intimidated with working with these legends. Um, but I also, I have a perspective um, where when it comes down to the work, that's always the most important thing. And and, um, and you really owe it to the, your character and you owe it to the writing to, to give a good performance. And so if you focus enough on that, I think the, the kind of, um, you know, all the hype kind of, takes a background but it, it definitely does um yeah it's you know i get i get nervous like anybody like anybody else um but um but yeah when you really when you really focus in on what we're doing and what what you're doing it that takes a president you know I say, and of course, I guess it also helps, as you say, that when your fellow performers are kind of supportive and kind of loose, it helps you to loosen up some uh, where, you know, they're not taking it yes. so seriously. Yeah. All right. OK. Yes, so, all right. Very good. All right. Well, that's all I got for you, Jack. But before I let you go and you kind of mentioned something a little bit about, but I wanted to give our followers a chance to for you to promote anything else that you have coming up, including maybe your your music uh, or and where can fans go to listen to The Lesser Dead? Yeah, so The Lesser Dead, it's a really fun, really, really cool um, show. It's out on um, Wondery Plus. March 27th, and then it will be available everywhere two months later in May on all streaming platforms. But you're going to want to subscribe to the Wondery Plus because there's so many more features. There's no commercials. And you also get access to everything else on that platform, which is pretty amazing, too. Um, but, yeah, I, I play, you know, again, like this punk rocker from the 70s. And I'm a vampire and it's uh, loaded with like really cool music and great acting by me and Mini Driver. And um, yeah, also, you know, I've, I've got a record coming out soon under my own name on uh, April 8th. So check that out as well. Thank you very much. All right. Very good. All right. So uh, let's say we will be following The Lesser Dead very closely and we'll be following you and uh, your projects as well. And I thank you for your time there, Jack. Thank you so much. All right. Good one. Thank you for watching GBN Interview. GBN Interview is a production of Geek Vibes Nation.